The ultimate aim of Lilongwe Wildlife Centre is to get as many animals as possible back into the wild. For some, like the bush pig, this hopefully won't take too much time. But for others, rehabilitation is much longer. A young vervet monkey called Brady has been here for two years. She was only a couple of weeks old when she arrived, having lost her mother. It was touch and go whether she'd survive. But the little vervet defied the odds and is now ready to be released. It's really, really cool to see the whole process from when she was struggling when she first came in and now she's a fully fledged, fun little healthy vervet who's gonna go out and be a wild monkey soon. Monkeys live in social groups. So Brady isn't going to be released on her own. She's part of a troop of vervets that has been carefully created by the animal care team. You never know when you put monkeys together whether they'll get along, whether they're gonna have strong bonds or whether they're gonna hate each other. Kind of like when you put humans in a classroom. So it's really nice to see Brady here with other monkeys and they just get along really well. The troop have been together for over a year now. They travel around the enclosure as one group. They're all really close to each other. You'll see them grooming in various different pairs. And yeah, they, they stay together, they sleep together. So they're really nicely socially bonded, which is exactly what we want when we put them out in the wild. Catching a group of 20 monkeys is going to be a challenge. I'm hoping that they'll cooperate with me, but there's never a guarantee when working with these guys. The Brady Bunch have been living in a very large enclosure designed to get them used to what life will be like in the wild. But that's going to make the job of catching them even harder. Mandy has drafted in Kondwani and Ella to help. It's going to be fun. <laughs> so I think we'll have Ella on that side watching and giving us some indications who's coming in. Yeah. OK, so we'll close this slide. Hopefully, they'll come in that side. And when we've got five, six, seven, hopefully eight, Do you close it? we can close. <laughs> The team have used good old-fashioned bribery to entice the vervets inside. It's not long before temptation gets the better of them. Male Storm is the first to take the bait. Sprouts in. Good start. Sprout is a good catch. He's the leader of this troop, so others are likely to follow him. They're hoping to catch eight monkeys in this first round. Kate's in. Rita's in. Remy's in. Yoda's in. Tulia's in. I'm very surprised that Tulia ran in. I'm surprised Brady didn't go with her, actually. Brady hasn't been brave enough to come in yet. So they decide to let her friend Tulia out again to see if Brady will follow her back in. Yeah, Tulia, straight out. Yep. Brady's in. Tulia's in. The plan works. We can get one more. Cl close it. Ah. No, no, no. Brady ran out. Until it doesn't. They pushed their luck. And Brady doesn't seem eager to go back. That's seven monkeys inside. As time progresses, things get much more difficult. So we're off to a good start, but certainly apprehensive about the following attempts at catching more monkeys in the troop. The veterinary team are checking over the vervets who will soon be on their way to the release site. They have to make sure the monkeys are healthy enough to be set free. They're giving Sprout, the alpha male, a collar so they can keep tabs on the troop in the wild. The collars are really, really important, so we know where they're traveling, how they're eating, all their body condition. We have to first find the monkeys, and these collars allow us to do that. Yay. One collared monkey. Cool. If you guys want to put them in the box. And you'll put that end in the back. Yeah. Mandy is eager to have a look at young male, Cape. So this is Cape, who uh, 
broke his leg a couple years ago and they had to put pins in it to fix it. So we're just gonna check his mobility and stuff. Cape had to have major surgery. The team weren't sure if he would ever be able to be released. He just healed in a really nice way. And now look at him, he's gonna go for release. So he's gonna spend the rest of his days running and jumping in the wild, which is exactly why we put in all that effort to save his leg, to fix his leg, to rehab him properly. He's a cool dude. With the health checks underway, Tori and the team are frantically trying to catch the rest of the Brady Bunch. Brady herself is hanging around the entrance, but is still wary about going in. Hi. Ella is laying a trail of peanuts. Close but not close enough to drop the slide. Close it. Curse is shut. Brady is in. The team are not going to risk her escaping again. Expert monkey catcher, Soft, traps her in the net so that Charlotte can give her a quick dose of anaesthetic. She's a feisty wee thing. Yay. But Brady always manages to complicate things. She wants her shoes, yeah, she's managed to put her teeth out. Like humans, monkeys have two sets of teeth. Brady is still quite young, so she's still got a couple of her baby teeth, and while she was throwing herself around the room, she's knocked the tooth almost out. So we'll um, pull that out for her and leave it for the tooth fairy, and she should still be fine to go tomorrow. Should be nice and stingy. Thank you well. very much. Brady has to have a clean bill of health before she can be released. Hey. Is that Brady? Yeah. She uh, was a little bit excited beforehand, so she did manage to make one of her baby teeth quite loose, so we'll just have to have a wee check of that. Good girl. Goodness me, she's growing. Right, Brady, let's see how much you weigh. Two point two eight. Two kilos is a good weight for a two-year-old vervet. Because she is only young, as well as obviously a check before she's released, um, we're doing a, a lot of preventative health things as well, just as we would with the quarantine exam. So um, she'll get all of her vaccines today, uh, TB testing, and obviously a full check over as well. Brady's milk tooth is hanging on by a thread. We'll just help it with its last little bit and remove it. The monkeys are boxed and fed, ready for an early start tomorrow. It's time for the Brady Bunch to head to their release site. The team want to be on the road as early as possible, before the day heats up. We're all really excited to see them get on the trucks and, and get out of here and make that next step in their journey. Bring me the box. These boxes are heavier with monkeys in them. 20 monkeys, 20 boxes. Bye. Miss you already. The site they've chosen for the release is back in Kasungu National Park, where the bush pig was found. The vegetation in Kasungu is perfect for the vervets, a mixture of woodland, rivers, and grassland. A special enclosure has been built to house the vervets while they get used to their new environment. Cool. Hey, guys. Pilly, this enclosure looks good for the monkeys. Pilly, who's part of the release team, has spent the last few weeks getting everything ready. OK, so what we want to do now is I'll start untying. If you want to fill up the water bowls and throw some food in. The monkeys will stay in here for about two weeks. There's a lot of new sounds, a lot of new smells, a lot of new sights. So they just need to have a safe space to be for a couple weeks to get used to their new homes. 
Oof. Mandy has overseen several vervet releases and isn't taking any chances. Monkeys can fit through smaller holes than you'd think are imaginable, so we're just doing one last check here to patch up those holes, and uh, I think they're quite anxious to get out of these boxes, so uh, we're gonna put them in now. Okay, so we're gonna do Sprout first since he's the alpha male, and then he'll encourage the rest of them that it's okay and they can come in. Cool. There you go. All right. Okay, Woo. Next up is Cape. Okay. Slides open. There he goes. They're all very happy to get out of these boxes. <laughs> and she's out. Find your friends. <laughs> this is trouble. <laughs> Yay! They're all in the enclosure. Just in time as Amanda is arriving with the next batch of monkeys from Lilongwe, including young Brady. Hey, this looks good. We're here and we have the rest of the monkeys that are joining the troop, and it's including Brady. I'm actually really excited to see how she likes her new home, and I think we should just get them out into the enclosure. And Brady is first in line. Oh, that's perfect. But true to form, Brady doesn't follow the plan. Oh, yep, there we go. All right, cool. Philly. Yep. So what's happened is that Brady almost <laughs> immediately found the smallest hole in between the tree and where the diamond mesh is on the roof, and she has gone out. Pilly needs to fix the hole quickly before any of the others follow her. Brady isn't likely to stray far from her troop. Right now, they need to get the rest of the gang out of their boxes. Hey. So that's 19 vervets inside and one in the tree. That's it. And now we'll just back off and let them settle in and hope everyone comes back. They're sectioning off part of the enclosure so it's open for Brady to come back in. But she's staying put. This is not what the team wanted. She's going to have to spend the night out on her own. Without the protection of her troop, she could be easy prey. When Pilly arrives the next morning, he's relieved to find Brady safe and well. But he knows she might not be so lucky if she spends another night on her own. I'll just cut bananas into small pieces and put nearby the entrance so that once she come down, she wanna be attracted with the bananas and get in. And once she get in, I'll just run and cross the slide. Boom, done. Brady is beginning to waver. Okay, be watching for my friend. Kagalo and the Tamanga will get take it. Okay. She's in, but Pilly needs to keep her there. Close that one, close that one. Thank you. Open that one, open there. Sorry, buddy. Close, close. Yeah. Thank you. Brady is safely back with her troop. This is so fantastic. I'm really excited. And actually, the plan I set works. <laughs> Pilly will keep a close eye on Brady and her gang for the next few weeks until they're finally set free. Kasungu National Park, Brady and her troop are one step ahead of Pango Pup. For them, it's release day. 
and after two weeks getting used to the sights and sounds of their new environment, the vervets are eager to get out and explore. Hey, guys. Good. How are our monkeys? I see they are so healthy, as I feed them every day. <laughs> so I'm ready to let them go out to the wild. Awesome. Sounds great. Many of these vervets were taken from the wild when they were very young, so this is a huge moment for them. All right, cool. So we'll go wait over here and leave it to y'all two to release. Awesome. Let's get ready. Good luck. Cool. Okay. okay. You guys ready? Nobody's paying attention? OK. All right. Gate's open. <laughs> Alpha male, Sprout, is wary, but heads towards the gate. Anybody? But Cape, with his bionic leg, gets there first. Cape, Yucca, Sprout, Storm, Trouble. That's trouble. The more confident adults have taken the leap. The youngsters pluck up the courage to follow. Some more. Come on, guys. That was Brady. Ah, cool. So there's Ingrid out. There's Spud out. Yes. Vera. But male Poncho isn't quite as brave as the others. Come on, Poncho. Go on. There we go. Yay! That's Poncho out. All right, everyone's out. Sweet! Brady's journey from orphan to wild monkey is complete. So Brady's obviously one of the younger ones, and to get some of the younger ones like Brady out into the bush must be a little nerve-wracking for them, but they're so bonded to the rest of the troop, and they had some really good leaders, so she shot right out and uh, is running through the bush now. Their work? doesn't end here. So Pilly's going to monitor this troop every day out here in the bush and see where they go and see what they eat and anything really that happens out here. What I see now is just like they're banding together, moving together. So it's a family. I'm so happy. This isn't just a bunch of monkeys we throw together and then throw out in the wild. These troops are years in the making, and it takes years for them to be, you know, solid, successful troops. So it shows that we did a pretty darn good job putting this group together. And so it's kind of like, all right, good. Well, we did right with that one. It's wonderful to see these guys out in the wild. This is where they were meant to be. Um, and to be able to be a part of something that gets them back there is really, really rewarding. Hey, Love Nature fans, be sure to like and subscribe to catch all our wild animal stories. Get closer to nature right here on YouTube.